Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2013 guys. The question is consider an instruction pipeline with the five different stages without any branch prediction. Okay, so I think this question belongs to control, right? Yes, control hazards. Okay, yes. So let us start. So basically they told five stages, right? So one, two, three, four and five. So they are told the first instruction is fetch instruction. The second is decode instruction, then fetch operand, then execute, then write, write operation, right? The stages delay of I1, okay, the stage delay of I1, sorry, F1, D1, F0, E1 are given as 5 seconds, 7 seconds, 10 seconds, 8 seconds, 6 seconds respectively, okay? So there are in intermediate storage buffers after each stage and delay of each buffer is 1 nanosecond. They clearly told that there are some buffers before or after each and every stage and they cost 1 nanosecond each. 1, 1, 1. Okay. So we read till here. Okay. So a program contains, contains of I2 instruction. Sorry. A program consists of 12 instruction. My bad. It's not I2. It is 12 instructions in total starting from I1 to I12. Nice is executed in a pipeline processor okay whereas instruction 4 is the only branch instruction so in between we are having instruction 4 which is a branch instruction and its branch target is i9 so if that condition is true you will directly move to i9 and you will skip how many guys you will skip i5 i6 i7 and i8 okay Yes, I9. If the branch is a taken during the execution of this program, so they are saying the branch has been taken. Okay. So the time in milliseconds are needed to complete the program. Okay. So this question seems to be an interesting question, right? Yes. So here they give the total number of instructions and everything has been given, right? Yes. So let us start solving the question. Okay. And they clearly told that it is pipeline. So basically if it is pipeline, we are going to add this, right? So for the stage total time. So that is a nothing but this is a 6, this is a 8, this is a 11, this is a 9 and this is a 7. So among these all, which is the maximum number, that number will be our ideal case, right? Yes. Okay. So what is the maximum number? 11. So the time taken per one instruction, we assume it as 11, right? Yes. So if you recall, clearly we know how many instructions are there in our list, right? Yes, and they clearly told that the jump has been taken. Means I1 will be executed, I2 will be executed, I3 will be executed, I4 will be executed, I9 will be executed, I10 will be executed, I11 will be executed, I12 will be executed. So in total, how many instructions guys exactly? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So mandatorily, we are going to execute 8 instructions, right? Yes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? Yes. Okay. So these 8 are mandatory. Right? Yes. But when our processor is working, so it doesn't know that this jump need to be taken. Right? So in the case of this, so if you assume, so if this is I4, Okay, so how many blocks guys? So it's a five stage, right? So one, two, three, four. Okay, so these are the five stages. So indirectly before its execution is completed only. Okay, we don't know that I7, I sorry, I9 need to be called. So I5 will start here. Okay, I6 will also start. So let me draw the diagram. Okay, so I6 will also start. Similarly, I7 will also start. Okay. Yes. Similarly, will I8 start guys? So basically at what time will you know you once this step is done? Okay. We will understand that once execution is done, we will understand that there is no need of solving these things. Right? Yes. So once these three steps are indirectly wasted, right? Yes. Okay. So if we I8 also starts where it will start, guys, it will start here. So basically it will not start because it is in the same line. So I8 will not start here. What will start guys? Here indirectly I9 will start, right? Yes. Okay. So means how many stages we have wasted guys. So here I have wasted one stage, two stage and three stage. So indirectly three stages have been wasted here, right? Yes. Okay. So in total along with our 12 stage lines, okay. 
12 our 12 is our count right so the total count of instructions so along with these 12 we are wasting more three stages here right yes so in total how many are the total stages that is a 15 stages each stage takes how much time 11 seconds so 15 into 11 is nothing but 165 and 165 is our result got it yes it's a quite easy question guys the only thing is he clearly told that the branch instruction will be taking place and he asked that how much time it will take okay yes so now you got an idea right so how exactly we the issue has been faced got it yes okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you